What up, y'all? Matt Burke here again. Coming to you from FAM University from a different stair set than the one that you may be used to seeing me skate. And the reason for that is that I came over to this stair set this past weekend because I thought that I was ready to skate it, but unfortunately, the rail and the world just kind of showed me that I was not. So as you saw in that intro clip, that was the very first attempt of me even trying to hit this rail, and it was just me propping myself onto it so I could get used to the angle and the feel of this kink right up here. And so that very first attempt just kind of popped me off, but it gave me the confidence that at that point I kind of knew what I needed to do to my feet in order to be able to take this curved kink and be able to ride it down to the bottom of the rail, which obviously was the goal originally. But as you can see on this very second attempt that I made, things went absolutely haywire. So I'm gonna show you the short clip here real quick, and then after that, I will show you the longer clip that will show you just kind of what what my initial reaction was after taking that fall, but I do just want to talk to you a little bit about that before I show it. So here goes the short clip. And so it may not look like the worst fall from the angle of the camera, which obviously isn't the best angle. I did not have my tripod with me, so it was just sitting on a ledge at the end of the rail. But the thing that happened when my body hit that rail is that I landed on my back and my body twisted, and my body twisted with the force of my body going down the rail and hitting that kink. So I hit and landed on my back and rolled over onto my stomach area. And so I've got a bruise that goes from literally the middle of my back and wraps all the way around to my sternum over here and it is just way worse, way more pronounced and way more swollen than any of the bruising that I had when I broke my ribs a couple months ago. So I am kind of worried that this is a more intense break. I'm worried about that for several reasons, obviously being the fact that they do hurt and do just look worse. But also when I landed on the rail this past weekend, I felt the bones inside of my chest kind of crush and it was a noise that I heard through my body as well. And as soon as the impact happened on that rail, I felt an unknown, excruciatingly sharp pain just shoot all the way from my shoulder down to my fingertips. And it was something, again, that I've never experienced before and it scared the crap out of me. So now I'm gonna show you the long clip of what happened after I fell and just what my initial reaction was to that pain and to what was going on. So as you can see by the initial reaction after that, I was completely knocked out of wind. I did the very, very stereotypical thing that so many of us do when we get hurt and I got up immediately and just tried to walk it off and essentially hope that things weren't as bad as they were. But you can hear me just choking to catch a breath, choking to be able to get some air into my lungs. And it was at that point that I got really, really, really worried that there was something worse than just some broken bones going on. So as you can see, as I'm stepping down those stairs and reaching into my bag for my phone, I was very, very, very nervous that something bad had happened. So I was frantically trying to call my girlfriend. And at the point that she picked up the phone, I honestly just didn't know what to say. I didn't know why I was even calling her. I was just absolutely frightened about whatever the hell it was that was going on and whatever situation I had gotten myself into. So I ended up on that phone call essentially just grunting and moaning and making noises so that she would know that I was okay, but also know that there was something going on. So at least if anything were to happen, she did know where I was and would be able to come and pick me up or call an ambulance or do whatever may have needed to happen. 
at that moment. But very, very fortunately, I was able to make it home and just kind of take a breather and relax for these last couple days. But it's been about three or four days now and things just aren't really getting better. Sleeping is pretty terrible. Breathing is terrible. You can see in this picture right here what I have to do when I sneeze or cough or even if I want to take a deep breath. I have to squeeze a pillow against my upper body kind of forcefully so that my ribs don't expand too much and that I don't take too much in. It's pretty brutal. Talking right now is pretty difficult, so I do apologize if I'm not as energetic as I usually am or if I'm kind of messing up any of my words or whatever. I really just can't afford to take too many takes of this clip right now to show you what's going on and to explain this because again, it really does hurt just to speak. So originally I had planned on talking to you guys about the new skate park that is being built here in Tallahassee in a few months, but as I was talking my way through this video over at FAMU, my ribs really started to hurt and I've realized that it is the amount of talking that I am doing. So I'm trying to keep it as light today as possible. So I'm going to stop this video right here so that I can just relax for the rest of the day, rest of the week, whatever it may be. And hopefully this will all kind of heal up at least a little bit. But with that said, once this does heal up, I will be back to talk to you more about that new skate park that is going to be built here. So if you've enjoyed this video, if you feel bad for me being a dumbass and hurting myself again, please hit that like button down below. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. It helps this channel to grow just a little bit faster than it would without you hitting that button. And if you'd like to be notified as soon as these videos are uploaded to this channel, please feel free to hit that little notification bell down below so that you will be notified as soon as that does happen. And as always, y'all stay safe out there and I will see you next time.